So what are the three components of UI path? So, okay. So in this section, so we'll be seeing um, uh, different components of UI path and we'll be also looking into variables and arguments, right? So as you know, there are only three components in UI path. So first one is UI path studio. Second one is UI path orchestrator and third is UI path robot. So studio is used to design the workflows or the process automation. Um, orchestrator is to manage the uh, automation, uh, the uh, processes, the RPA processes. Uh, robot is to run the business process, run the automation, right? Mm -hmm. So now let's create a new blank process. So which we call it as you can call it as your first or my first uh, my first robot right so you're going to create my first robot uh, robotic process automation can you explain the components of the ui path studio is used to design workflow um, yeah, so UiPath Studio is used to design the workflows for the business process automation. Mm -hmm. um, so used to design uh, automation. Okay. Uh, and uh, orchestrator used to manage the uh, processes. Okay. Um, so I manage the processes, manage the robots, right? Uh, so you can also manage the robot from orchestrator and mm -hmm. manage the machines as well. So there you can connect to multiple machines. So you can manage the machines, manage the robot, manage the users in uh, orchestrator. So there, there are several uh, advantages of orchestrator. Mm -hmm. And finally, it is the orchestra, uh, UiPath robot. A robot is oh. used to run the uh, automation. Okay. Yeah. And so there are three main components. So now you can create uh, your first robot. Call it as first robot. And uh, you can see first you need to name this robot. Second, you are going to save it in your location, your own folder. That you are going to give a description. So this is me first RPA project. Right? So you can give such things and uh, uh, this is a new one I am seeing. It is a compatibility. Uh, we are giving it as a default one, Windows legacy, uh, cross platform. So we'll go with the default. Um, or if it is Windows. Um, so I'm, I'm seeing it new in this version. So I, I'll, I'll uh, let you know the difference in a later session. Okay. after going through so it supports basically two languages which is b vb and c sharp right mm -hmm. uh, so in case if we need to code something so you can code in vb or c sharp so we'll go with the default option which is vb you know vb is visual basic so we select the vb and just create click on the create so when you create this right so it will create a workspace you and it will create in a project view so what will be happening when you create is it will create a workspace it will add all the dependencies we will call some dependencies and it will create this view so you know you cre it creates this first project um, folder and you can see the dependencies and you can see some other things as well and main dot XAML and project.json. So this is the default view of uh, how it is. Um, so what are the default dependencies that are created as part of this project? It is Excel, uh, mail, system activity, and UI automation activities. So these are the four uh, default activities that are created. So And you click on the main dot XAML. Double click on the main dot XAML. Uh, or other ways you can do is you click on the open main workflow here. 
so two ways you can open this main.saml which is like click on the open main workflow which open the main.saml right so it gives you this view so in the activities so you are going to use this activities uh, to perform the actions so whatever comes to your mind you can just search here for example you want to type it gives you type into activity if you if you want to click it gives you a click activity that if you want a browser it will give attach browser uh, open browser refresh browser all these things so there are many activities to automate your business processes or the or any actions that you perform so usually we have uh, like we will be opening the browser or you know creating clicking some operations clicking on that some actions performed uh, so i'm thinking about like now just you know as part of this project it will only give you a message box saying hello so this robot will you know give a message box um or just open google and type uh, type hello and click on search right so that will would be a better process i think so you can open a browser maybe this is a quite complex one for who at this stage but we will stop go with that so you, you need to click on the open browser and see it is saying you to value required because we did not put the url here uh, so you type in the quotes quotation marks www.google.com right so you are going to open google so what browser you want so you need to say, choose the browser type here you may choose ie firefox or whatever it is so i usually prefer chrome so i go with chrome right so that's it so it will open google and what you will do type into so you just type into and you need to tell where to type so at the moment i will say google and you are going to indicate the browser and keep it here click on here right so you are going to type it and just verify if it is click on the edit selector click on the highlight yeah so there is some search because i opened the many browser now i click highlight now it choose this one right so don't become panic so this is like first year like usually like i will show only the message box but yeah anyway you are going to do this as well so in the text uh, for now you can give it hard coded say ui part right so this is the text i am going to enter in that uh, web page and now you say a message box or say right message yeah say a message box Uh, so what happens when you search ui part maybe what what you can think of like in the right hand side you can maybe uh, create copy this and give it in a message right so just i'll get text i'm going to the get text and see indicate element inside the browser and i just want to copy this and just edit selector and just highlight yeah, it's going to copy that click on okay and when you click on the get text uh, i'm going to create a variable okay to save that text maybe create output here oh you output Right. output is a string so i am creating a variable so i told we are will be verifying the you know variable we will be creating variable and arguments so this is the variable and this is the arguments in the variable i create a variable called output okay 
So this variable type is string. So there will be a lot of variable type. For now, you uh, you make a note we are using the string. We created an output variable, right? And in the text, get a text span, in the value of the output, just uh, give the uh, type the, you know, press the space bar, you get a list, click on the output, right? So you so now what happens? It will get the output in this variable, right? Uh, and in the message box, uh, give the output. Say something. Uh, my I have so my first robot. Say my first robot is successful and it says and it says uh, for the input right and it says for the input plus um, maybe no uh, and it says okay Okay, maybe we'll put it as and it says the output, right? So if this is successful, you will get in the message box, the output it grabs, okay? So before I run, I'll close this one, okay? So you can see if it is successful. And see, you know, uh, as, as part of the best practice, you need to rename all these things, the sequence. This is my, my first robot because you need to understand, right? And this is open Google to input uh, search text, right? This is one. And this is um, enter input to Google and extract output. So this is for my understanding, I'm just uh, typing. This is enter input into Google search, right? And extract output from right hand side, right? And message box show the, sorry, display extracted text right so this is the first best practice you need to uh, name each and every activity that you are doing second best practice is you need to use annotations right right click on the activity and give annotations add annotations or you can also press shift f2 you will get this kind of uh, text box so uh, this project is to enter text values in Google search and read the output from the right hand side. Right, okay, so I am just giving you know the, some uh, information about the project so that you create a project and tomorrow some new developer is coming, they will be easily able to understand what is going on as part of this project. This is a very simple one, but a very complex project will need a lot of you know, uh, explanation. So you use this uh, annotations regularly to explain each and every activity. Each and every activity need to be uh, explained, uh, annotated clearly, so they understand it easily. Uh, so now what I'm going to do, you know, I close the Google and everything. So I'm going to run this process. Uh, click on either the uh, run button or you can press control F5. So now I'm clicking the run button. So when you click on the run button, what happens? The robot will come and open this. So I told that there is a robot, right? Invisible robot. So the robot will open and enter the text and get the value and show it in a message box. So if my coding is correct, that will work correctly. Otherwise, it will throw some error. I need to fix it so that I don't know whether it will work or not. 
but I'm expecting it to work. Let's see how it goes. So I click on the run. See, this is the robot and uh, it says the first job has job started processing. So I did not take my hand. You should not tell I open it. Someone else is doing that. Okay. Now it did not work, right? Why it did not work? I only told to type UI path. So yeah, so I should have you know, search on this, which I did not do. So that is why it did not work. I, I click on the uh, uh, manually on my keyboard, the enter button. So it says my first robot is successful and it says, UiPath is a global software company that makes robotic process automation software. It was founded in Bucharest, Romania by Daniel Dines and Marius Tirka. Its headquarters are in UI, uh, New York City. Right? So it is exactly what I expect. Uh, so only thing is you can see uh, as a human, I interacted with that to make the robot happening. If I did not enter for a certain time, it will throw an error message. It will wait for 30 seconds by default. And within 30 seconds, it is not able to find, it will throw the error. So I understood it is waiting there. So I helped the robot by entering, but it did, it did not ask me any help, but I just helped it. So it's a, it's a kind of, you know, uh, I would say uh, human in the loop or uh, engaging uh, somewhere we, we read that. So I now click on the okay. Uh, so my first robot is successful. So what do you do as part of this UI path, just add this plus oh no. uh, click on this this one and click enter oh no. click on this and enter oh. mm. Okay, better you do, uh, you need a keyboard input, right? So, you know, here we call that as a hot key. Right, we are going to send the hot key. In the key, you can select any key number you want. Click on enter, right? So, you don't need to indicate any element, it will just enter. So, now I have tried to run the process. So, at the end, what you need to do is uh, close the browser. So you can type close, close the application uh, and indicate yeah, I close the application. So the browser is automatically closed. So now I close it manually and then run it, click on run and now see whether it is working. It opened the Google and typed the UI path. Click on enter. Now it gets the uh, read the message. And this is the uh, display extracted text, which is my first robot. So it, now it worked fine. Right. So this is very simple operation. So your first robot is successful. Right. So now you saw what is variable, right? Um, so, uh, okay, so I, I don't know what to do as part of the <laughs> argument. Uh, so argument is like, uh, you know, the, when you create multiple, uh, multiple sequence, so if you, uh, like you need to know about the sequence and the flow chart, all those things. Uh, so, you know, which we will look into the next class. Uh, so I think it will be too much for you. I, I, I stop here. So you can play only with the variables uh, today. You, you create many examples in variables um, and, uh, you know, um, uh, try to refresh whatever I have taught you today. Just uh, create some examples, uh, as much as example. You can use Notepad, Calculator, uh, uh, Desktop application, as well as Web application. Think about any number of scenario create only variables, try to create four to five projects that you can think of. There is no limit, whatever you can think. Mm, I think you are on mute. Uh, yeah, so you can think and create some five projects. So 
Uh, let us take it slow or uh, yeah, I don't want to jump into the variable. So I need to explain a bit more concept to go into the variable. Uh, I mean, uh, arguments. Uh, so you create only variable. Uh, so I told only the string. Uh, you can try few other variable type like integer, uh, Boolean. And if possible, you could explore some advanced uh, uh, variable as well. And you can create arrays. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's up to you. If you want, you can try, but otherwise use only the basic ones uh, and create few uh, okay. examples, right? So basically I would say uh, create five examples, minimum five or more. You can create as much as possible, okay. but yeah. So you get, you know, some uh, hands-on to use the activities and uh, run the robot uh, so things like that so yeah so try it and then we will see and uh, uh, go through these things uh, like uh, click go through the properties as well and note down your questions like whenever you see there will be a lot of properties and you can scroll in the properties uh, to find you know a little bit more information about the input and the options different options as well uh, just to try to understand that what is in that uh, text and uh, try to relate what is your understanding with that okay. it just yeah just get used to this view uh, first so we are in the design view now um, so there is a debug view as well so in the debug view you can run the process uh, there are certain options here. Uh, so we'll go through in the upcoming uh, sessions. Uh, in the design view, there are a few things as well. You can create new sequence. You can save uh, things like that. And there are recording as well, which we'll go, go through in that lessons. This is called the backstage view, which is the home page. Uh, yeah, just get used to this view, uh, create a few examples. And uh, yeah. So that's it. You have any questions now? Okay. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Stop. 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 Stop.